Can you solve this simultaneous equation by substitution method? To solve this, this is very simple. First thing we have to do is to label the equation. So the first one becomes equation one, and the second one becomes equation two. Okay? Then if you look at the two equations, you think of the first one that can be easily made the subject of the formula. Are we making x the subject of the formula, or are we making y the subject of the formula? For me to do this, I would simply make y subject of the formula from equation 1. So what do I have to do? It is very simple. Equation 1 says that 3x minus y is equal to 23. So the first thing I have to do is to subtract 3x from both sides. Or we say 3x crosses equality sign. So if I subtract that, I will now have minus y is left, and that's equals to 23 what? Minus 3x, because I subtracted 3x from both sides. So for us to get y, we just have to divide through by minus 1 or divide by minus 1, so that the minus cancels out. We are having y to be equal to, this minus is affecting this, so we have minus 23 and plus what? 3x. So this is basically 3x uh, minus 23, okay? And this is the value for y. So we can label this to be our what? Equation 3, okay? So what do we do? We substitute the value for y to be 3x minus 23 in the second equation. So from second equation, what do we have? In the second equation, we have that 2x plus 5y is equal to 4. So the next thing we do is to plug in value for, we have it that 2x plus 5 into, so instead of put writing y, we'll now replace it with what? 3x minus 23. So I have 3x minus 23, and that's equal to what? And that's equal to what? 4. So the next thing we do is simple to open the bracket. So what do we do? We have it as 2x plus 5 times 3x is what? Well. Let's know that in the comment section. 5 times 3x is 15x. And 5 times 23, you have it as minus. 5 times 3 is also 15. 5 times 2 is 10. So we have it as 115. And that's equals to 4. The next thing we do is that we notice that 15x plus 2x is basically 17x. So we have it as 17x minus 115 is equals to 4. So what do we do next? We just simply what? What we have to do is simple. We add 115 to both sides. So we have it as 17x uh, is equals to 4 minus 115 cross inequality becomes plus 115. Okay? So we have it that 17x is equal to 119, 119. So to get the value, you have it that since 17x is equal to 119. What do you do? You have to divide through by 17 and divide through by 17. What do you observe? You observe that x is equal to 7. So for us to get the value of y, it's simple. We just have to put x to be 7 in the equation 3 we have. You remember we all, we've agreed that y is equal to 3x minus 23 from equation 3. Okay? So what do we have? That y is equal to 3. So instead of putting x, writing x, we replace it with 7 minus 23. Okay? Then 3 times, 20, 3 times 7 is 21. The answer becomes uh, 21 minus 23. Okay? And 21 minus 23 is that y is equals to minus 2. So y is actually minus 2 here. Yx is what? 7. Like and share. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. Bye.